Okay, seven gens, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, again, I, um, I'm filling in uh, for, for the board president. He's unable to attend today. And then our um, Bruce King, our executive officer, is, is at the um, doctor right now. Um, so he'll try to get here as soon as possible. And I'll try to defer any technical questions about the report until he gets here. But I'll just try to do a quick overview for, for you. Um, our mission is to promote Oneida 7, Gary, to promote and enhance economic diversification on behalf of the Oneida tribe. Um, we manage commercial development such as Bellum facility, Schneider facility, Badger Sheet Metal, and so on and so on. We currently have three properties with open spaces. Uh, that's the Tower Foods facility, uh, restaurant space at the Travel Center, and a unit on the West Mason Mall. We're going to continue to advertise those spaces, and um, hopefully we can get those filled soon. Uh, I guess I just wanted to note that um, that our former we had a, uh, Kevin Cornelius was the CEO. He is no longer employed with the United Seven Generations. We had a mutual separation agreement that we entered into effective August 21st, and during the interim interim period, we've asked. Bruce King, the other senior um, executive at Seven Gens, to be the acting CEO until such time we determine the strategy to move the corporation forward. It gives us an opportunity to reassess the corporation and determine where we want to go into the future. I guess I'll open up to, to questions. Any questions from the committee? Motion to accept the report. Motion by Tina Danforth to Second. accept the report. Seconded by Brandon Stevens. Questions. Okay, um, regarding the energy project, um, why wasn't the GTC mandate of May 5th, 2013 mentioned in this that pro effectively prohibited um, the corporation from putting up any of the gasification projects within the confines of the Oneida reservation um, I have no real answer to why it's not included but we're certainly complying with the general tribal council action Furthermore, the board took action before General Tribal Council action, which noted in the report that in February 2013, the board had decided not to locate the plastics to oil business on the Oneida Reservation. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce King is here. If he could come on up to the front, he can help you answer some of the questions. And then this is a related question for Patty. When will the meeting minutes from the May 5th, 2013 be presented to GTC? Maybe we'll aim uh, for the end of September to get those out and post it on the website. End of September 1st. So this, do they have to go then to the GTC for formal approval? Yes, at the January meeting they'll go at there. At the January meeting. You back on board, Chair? Yeah, I'm uh, I think the, where I am. the question okay. was answered. Uh, and I had another question. It kind of was answered, but I just wanted for the record to reflect that if this narrative report is as of June 30th, 2013, um, and it was claiming that there was only two full-time employees at that time, then that still needs to be corrected because as of that time, Kevin Cornelius was still employed. Um, before my question was answered, I wanted to ask why was he still appearing then at meetings representing OSGC, such as at the July 12th, 2013 working meeting. So that's a correction that needs to be put into this report.
and the report um, Kevin's, said that there's Kevin's three. departure was on effective August 21st, <coughs> so he would have been um, the a representative of Seven Gens at the July meeting that you're referencing. But this report was claiming that he would have no longer been an employee as of June 30th because it's claiming only two full-time employees and one part-time as of July. The report uh, June that's in 30th. my packet, Leah says employees, OSGC has three employees, two full-time and one part-time. Just to. But this was as of June 30th. Right. The three employees would have been Bruce, Kevin, and Becky. Right. But there's only two full-time employees listed. We'll note that correction for the record that that means that should read three full-time and one part-time. I understand your point. And as far as the Tower Food site, um, it's been stated that the um, OSGC representatives have been offering this facility up for sale. Is that even allowable? Can this facility be sold by OSGC? Uh, Joanne. I think that it can. I'm not entirely certain. I would uh, defer to Seven Gens on that, but it would be the facility, uh, not the land underneath it, as all land, uh, as all property sales are within the tribe. And that would be to both tribal and non-tribal um, individuals. Uh, Joanne. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's not. We're not saying it's being sold. The land, not the land. But the facility. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a motion and a second. Yeah, I do. I think uh, she has more questions. Uh, if not, Jackie, do you have a question? It's rumored that the idea of the facility, the renewable energy facility, could be sold to other tribes and that people within the tribe are actually marketing the idea. Is that true? I couldn't hear your question. Okay. Um, it's rumored that the idea of renewable energy or even the plans might be marketed to other tribal entities. And is that part of what the BC is doing to maybe recoup some money or make money? Well, if it's a rumor, I, I haven't heard the rumor, so I, I'm not aware we're of not, that. We're not marketing yet further. I guess the what BC, I thought. BC, no. I don't know what you know the intentions are for Seven Gens. At is this Seven point. Gens marketing this idea? To help answer Jackie's question, that is in the WEDC contract. That would be the um, one of the two documents. There were two separate documents with the WEDC regarding a $2 million loan and a $2 million conditional grant. And I believe it was in the $2 million conditional grant, the LEG, in which it was specifically stated that part of this would be marketing the gasification facility to tribal, local, and county municipalities. You know, if they are, that's within their purview. And my understanding is the directive from General Tribal Council would be that this plant or project would not be located within the reservation boundaries. That was my understanding of General Tribal Council's directive. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my understanding. My, my only concern is the image to the tribe, because if, if we fail to be able to do this in Green Bay and even on our lands, if it's attempted to be marketed, how will we look as turning that back and then offering it as something really relevant and important to other tribes. I think, you know, I guess just from a board perspective, we're not marketing this. It's not in our purview to market the energy project. Um, since the General Tribal Council action was taken and board action was taken previous to the General Tribal Council action, we are continuing to reassess, you know, some of the liabilities that we have incurred and how do we recover from those liabilities. But we are not actively marketing and, you know, trying to put this in any, you know, in selling the business at this time. I mean, th but we are looking at strategies. How do we recover from some of the liabilities that we've incurred? I think I like that answer. 
Thank you. Um, I would like to point out, how does it explain um, Bill Cornelius's attendance at conferences um, as recently as June 10th and July 9th out of state in which he was presenting on the gasification concept? You know, if Bill is invited as a board, as a, as an individual, he certainly has a right to do that. He was not there on on our behalf, or I believe the board has taken no official action that he could be out there representing the corporation. So perhaps Bill is out there on his own. I'm not, I can't speak to that, but that's only speculation. So the answer is the board is not promoting this. And if anybody's over there promoting this gasification project, it's not the board because you're going, you're still determining your course of action. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've incurred liabilities and through the development process and, you know, as you guys are well aware, we're in litigation and, um, but we, we continue to move forward on reliance of a conditional use permit and that was the authority that the corporation had and we incurred liabilities and that was one of the primary driving reasons why we pursued litigation is to recover some of the liabilities that we have incurred. Will this pursuit require going to all the way to the Wisconsin State Supreme Court if necessary, given the appeals court reaffirmation of the, if it were to reaffirm the decision of Brown County Circuit Court? Can't talk about I can't case. discuss that right can't now. Can't talk about the case. That's a premature, and that would just be you know, pure speculation. I don't you're think either going to win or you're going to lose. Um, so then if he is, if Bill Cornelius is going to these conferences to represent himself as a board member, is that appropriate? Yeah, I don't think it was, uh, the we're, we're here to discuss mm -hmm. the board. The board had said that we are not doing any more uh, promoting or marketing of the gasification project. So we, we can't go into what Bill Cornelius is just a, he is part of the board. He is also uh, an individual. The board is saying that he's not doing that on behalf of the board. So therefore, he shouldn't be claiming to be part of Seven Generations Board when he does make these appearances, correct? That would be assumed that if, he's do if anyone is promoting uh, gasification projects uh, in the outside communities, reservation or non-reservation. They're doing it on their own. They're not doing it uh, under the direction of seven gen generations. That's my understanding of what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, the board has taken no action to, to promote this. And I mean, Bill as an individual can certainly do what he wants. Mr. Chairman, I'm satisfied with the answers to the questions and call for the question. We do have a call for the question. Uh, we will vote now. All those in favor of accepting the report, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries.